we go. What up? Hey, been here. I got some goodies. I got some FPV outreach stickers that came in recently. I have a recent um, delivery from Shelby Vall and crew. And I have a tip on the Skirch Battle Balls and Skirch Rabbit and Moon frames on how to install some of these uh, flight controllers with the ELRS cubes. Um, just a little modification. It's really easy. You can do it with a pair of snips. Easy peasy. So we'll get to that. Alright. Yo, what up? Hey, good here. Some goodies today. Don't forget to save the bees. These are different kind of ones. Tiny whoop. FPV outreach stickers. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Thank you, man, for doing this. Amazing stickers. All y'all out there in the community sending these in to Jesse and helping with his cause that he's got set up with that FPV outreach. Heck yeah. Y'all got some good artwork, y'all. Nice. Heck yeah, Jesse. Thank you, ma'am. We got some Shelby Glide. Makes you all warm and tingly. <laughs> all right, and here we are. We're gonna go over a, a little tip. Easy to do with a pair of snips. Um, let me get bad bit out of the way. Out of the way. No spicy. Okay. So on these frames here. Like Battle Bones and my Rabbit Moon. You notice there's these holes here, mounting holes. Um, all you have to do is snip basically flush with the back of that hole. There's a little notch under there. And it's really easy. I'll show you. I've actually already done one. Right here. On that bit moon. It's lined up perfectly once you get it all mounted up. Well that quick. So we'll do that real quick. And this is uh for like the X12 happy model. So if you see there, now I got the white paint marked out just so we can make a visual for the camera. That's where we're going to cut off. Let me get on my uh, better eyes so I can see this better. Let's see if I can do this on camera as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. So all you, do, you should wear gloves, you know, you really should. 
this is carbon. This stuff can hurt you. Get stuck in your skin. Um, so don't do what I'm doing. Right. We'll skip there. there okay and then I'm just gonna take these these cutters and this this work the cutting tip back back and forth until I get a nice kind of square hole right there so that that um, cube will sit in there just right because it's kind of angled that that way You can do it out with do it with um, like a Dremel, but make sure you got goggles on, gloves you should have on, especially. And if you're using like a Dremel tool or something like that, a little water helps a lot, keeps it from getting hot, and also um, throwing all that uh, the shards of carbon everywhere. Little away on this little piece of carbon here. Nice square hole right there. It was easier off camera when I did it. Oops, I shook you again. Sorry. Rock your world. Oh yeah, I got called out to today by Wallbanger. If y'all don't know who he is, he's out there with Shelby Ball and crew. Um, but uh, I got a challenge I gotta do this week. And his timing is actually pretty good because my body's been on the down. Sorry about the big old scar right there. I straightened myself pretty good the other day. Um, hope you're not grossed out. Anyway, um, yeah, Wallbanger called me out on a challenge. He wants me to split his S. I mean, I do a split S. And <laughs> I got that from iGal, if y'all remember. Dude, I forgot your name. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names, but I know I remember who did it. But I just forgot your name at the moment, so I'm sorry. But yeah, that was funny. Split S challenge. So yeah, I got a split that challenge I got to put together this week. So this timing is good. Um, my body so far is kind of on the up and up. Um, the past week was pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie, I was not doing too well. Um, but hopefully everything's on the up and up, and I can get this done, get this built for this challenge. Anyway, I was gonna build Rabbit in the Moon and Battle Bones. So, um, good time, wall banger. <laughs> and, um, oh yeah, y'all see that Infinity Loops? Dr. Love, OG. Y'all see class is about to be in session soon? Y'all pay attention to that. Whoop, you. All right, that's gonna be good enough, at least for this video. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of what we're getting at, just to clear that out a little bit, you know, because um, like on this board here, the reason I, I'm, I'm doing it that way is because I'm going to mount it upside down. And then once I get my grommets and everything set up in there, you know, it's going to set in there. Everything will clear fine. Um, just sit in there about like that. It'll be close, but it's clear. It's good. Um, so I had to do skirts. My skirts build that way. Um, for skirts, yeah. So for this one, didn't have holes already. Um, it just has these little nubs. But, um, yeah. What I had to do there. No biggie. It just, you know, if you want to make your 
builds a little bit tighter, get everything down lower, you know, it's an option. Or you can just do it traditional, um, collar grommets and all that, and, and just mount it up that way. Yeah, same thing, you can do the same thing with battle bones. Just cut the little notch out, square it off, good to go. So that's for the X12. So yeah, a little quick tip on how to mount uh, some of the ELRS uh, Cube uh, flight controllers like the X12. Um, I haven't checked any of the other boards. So I mean, the location might vary just a little bit. I'm not sure if all the manufacturers have posts they are in the same location. But for the X12, all good. Nice and clear. So yeah, I can't wait to get this built. Do this challenge for wall banger. <laughs> Can I even split it? I don't know. Tune in to find out. <laughs> Take that out. <laughs>